did your mom also give you a Hello Kitty lunchbox growing up? Uh, I didn't have one. I didn't have one. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another special Fung Bros food takeout episode. Benson's joining us today. What's up guys? Self-proclaimed four out of five on the otaku scale. Wow. Today we are doing the ultimate Japanese grocery store supermarket haul. We just came back from Marukai Market in downtown Los Angeles, little Tokyo. We basically took back the whole entire market with us. Yes. yes. We are trying to investigate the next great Japanese crossover item. This is round one, this is the hot food section. Immediately, I was looking at the rolls. These are not any rolls that you're familiar with in America. Croquette, Wagyu on this side. Ginger pork and yakisoba roll. Yakisoba roll. Take them one bite. Mm. I taste that Worcester Bulldog sauce, but it's not a Western Worcester. It's the Japanese Bulldog sauce. Right. Would you guys like to see more noodles in a sandwich form? No. Okay, you know what I could see? I could see a spaghetti sandwich. Ginger pork. pork. Get a little bite of the ginger. There's obviously some type of mayo spread that's mm. been like put on the bread. I'm with, I like I'm, it. I'm with it. I that like it. pretty good. Why you beef roll? roll? A little tough. That's really tough. Personally, I thought the taste was good. Texture, a little bit too tough. I'm not a fan of anything like that, like chipotle mayo and beef together. It's, it's too much. Guys, we're gonna move on to the croquette sandwich. Anyways. This would be like putting a hash brown between the brioche bun. Potato, potato croquette roll. roll. I like that one a lot. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that was that was really good. What's your favorite out of the four? Um, for American taste, I definitely think the ginger pork has the best chance. Just because it makes sense. It's a pork right. sandwich. Ginger pork. Clean squeeze. Bring the <laughs> ginger <squeak>. pork <laughs> to the mainstream. All right, you guys, we got to speed through this hot food section. We are looking at a pork katsu curry, a Neapolitan pasta. This is the omu soba. A omelet over soba. Like omu rice, but with soba. Yes. And then we got the seafood gratin right here. It's just seafood, scallops, shrimp over rice and cheese. Or the pork katsu curry right here. God. Wow. Yo, mine really looks different. All right, look at this. I still got some stretch on mine. Let's see. Boom. Yo, and you think that's gonna be better than the HK version? I'm not gonna lie. The scallops man. look. The scallops look good, man. Those are home, some Hokkaido scallops. Oh, oh my god. Mine, your dishes, Andrew, is from a genre of food in Japan called yashoku. Yashoku is the uh, mixture between European and Japanese food. Oh, hell yeah. Yashoku. Yashoku. The ability to deliver quality seafood in this. I mean, just try the scallop. I was trying the scallop, man. Try the scallop, guys. That's delicious. Yeah. Everybody compare their dish. Yo, I like the quality on that dish. I actually did not like the tanginess of this yeah. dish. Yeah. I'll say with this, you can't go wrong with pork katsu. No matter what, you're gonna get something good. I think it was cool to have these like ribbons of beef in, or beef or pork that's like interlaid in the curry. All right, you guys, from the Yashoku section, what do you guys think the prospects are? I do not think that Western people are gonna like Japanese versions of their food. Call me crazy. But that being a Japanese version of an Indian dish filtered through England, I could see that working. But man, I don't know, because I think maybe some Westerners, they don't look at this as pasta or anything. They just look at it as like a seafood over rice. All right, speeding through, guys. We've got the amu soba. I'm going to have to go chopsticks with this one. Amu, amu soba. soba. Mm. Yo, that's pretty good. Mm. You got that really nice Japanese light mayo. Delicious. When we got it, the way it looked was amazing. I want oh, to keep gosh. eating that. Would you eat yakisoba like that again? Oh, yeah. yeah. No. Amu soba is my favorite way to eat soba other than cold soba. Moving on to the sushi section, we've got inari. It's a sweet tofu wrap that usually has some, some sort of rice inside, and then they top it with whatever. And this is actually a really popular way to serve uh, chirasi bowls, guys. So it kind of looks like poke, but this... Hey, yo, inari's, guys. I, I call dibs on the ume. I'll hit the uh, seaweed. Ooh, I want the pickle vegetables. Uh, hey, hey. Inari's. Oh wow. I love Inari. Andrew, you're not into Inari's as much. Did I say that? I said that. Did you? Yeah. I said I'm not that into them. God, remember, at Kaiten Sushi. That's true, yeah. I do remember mom making these though because you can actually buy the skins in a can. Mm. And then you can stuff them with rice yourself and that's what my mom used to do. I, don't, I like it. I like, I like the sweetness combined with the rice. Japanese food is a clean eat. Yeah. This is a clean eat. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I do feel like it's somewhat blasphemous to be eating a chirasi bowl with forks out of a 
a foam bowl, but Trashy bowl. bowl. Seven different types of seafood in this. Really impressed by the quality at Marukai. It's, it's amazing. That was pretty strong. That was, that was so pretty good. good. Wow. I think this is the best thing I've had all day. So. Dude, for it being from a supermarket. And for, like, it was like, what, five bucks? Oh, no, this was not five bucks. This was like 14. Yeah. Was it 14? Yeah. Oh. But that's still worth it. <laughs> we have a crunchy shrimp sando. Mmm, I see lettuce, I see cabbage, I see mm. tempura shrimp. Mmm, I don't like it. I like the addition of all the vegetables. It kind of helps with all the mayo that's in it. I did actually enjoy it, but it just didn't blow my mind. Trio sando. sando. This is not the best egg salad sandwich I've had from a Japanese place. Yeah, that one wasn't good. It wasn't seasoned well. Yeah, well, it wasn't I wasn't feeling that one. As you guys can see, this is a pork chop. You can see the fat on the side. Katsu sando. Katsu sando. It's good. It's a good quality pork. It has like a little bit of the mayo. It has like the nice like freshness of the vegetables, but it's not the best katsu sando ever. All right, you guys, real quick. That was it for the deli section. What was you guys' favorite thing that we had, man? Hey, I got mine. My favorite was the was the amusoba. Hey, Ryan, what was your favorite hot and cold item? Rice bowl. The inari. You said you hated inari. <laughs> I liked them today. That's cap. <laughs> Those are not regular inaris. To be honest, actually, the ginger pork sando. All right, everybody, moving on to our next section. This is the beverage. Jinku. What about Japan Cola? I think this tastes better, different than Pepsi for sure. Japan Cola is my favorite version of Pepsi. This one I'm excited about because this is strawberry Coca Cola. Of all our uh, travels, I've never encountered this. Strawberry, strawberry Coca Cola. Coca -Cola. Alright, I'm going to be honest, it does taste like that artificial candy strawberry, mm. but I'm enjoying that right mm. now. I think that that tastes more like strawberry than um, your typical like strawberry soda. Mountain Dew Violet, Violet, grape flavor. Okay. Well, that almost tastes like Pop Rocks. I don't know, it has all the worst aspects of Mountain Dew. I think we gotta go try this uh, yogurt one. Wow! I think for me, I kinda liked it the most out of all of them because it was the least sweet. Man, it's look at it, right? They yeah. say it in there. Cause it's not from America, right? Fanta's Fanta not from America. Fanta, Fanta. Where, 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 where's it from? Fuck, hey Siri, from Spain. where is the brand Fanta from? Okay, I found this on the web. For it was founded in Nazi Germany. Bruh. Oh. I don't want to look any more into the history of Fanta, guys. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's mixed berry with vitamin E. Funny enough, I don't like grape soda, but I'm gonna roll with the grape one this time. <laughs> Guys, I was so excited about this one. Green, Green tea, tea Canada, Canada Dry. I like it. This is my favorite one out of all these, for sure. Best aspects of ginger ale mixed in with a splash of green tea. I got a lemon soda from Kirin. Kirin, Kirin lemon, lemon soda. soda. Kinda like that. <laughs> weird. You have to say that that tasted the way you would think urine would taste. It's kind of weird. Bubble teas, this is actually from Taiwan. Matcha bubble tea. The matcha's good, I like the matcha. It's just for, I'll just try it. Okay, Powerade. I got the Powerade. What the fu- Ah, <laughs> what? <laughs> Will Americans like this? <laughs> no. no. All right, so this is the winner. This yeah, is the, the winner. unanimous winner. Yo, we have arrived at the matcha section, you guys. Matcha is so wavy in 2020. Yo, this is the mini sauce. They're like mini ice cream cones. So Japanese. Wait, why does mine look different than yours? Well, there's swirly ones and then there's two full matcha ones. So okay. you just, you got the mixed. Cause you're, cause I'm, mm. yeah. Nah. Futaba, Futaba mini, mini soft. soft. That was good ice cream. That was a chance, but it's not too good. I would give this a decent rating. I wouldn't give it that high. It's okay. This is Kyoto oh style mochi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, snaps. Ooh. Kyoto style matcha ice cream mochi. <laughs> mochi is good. The, the mochi is better. Yeah. The mochi is better, but the ice cream's worse. Now th this is the one I'm actually uh, the most excited for. Matcha, matcha Monaca. Monaca. As you can see the print. Wow, this is a nominee right there that that gotta make it in America. This is so good. All right, so out of the three ice cream brands, which one was your favorite? Oh, say less. This is 
That's gotta be it, man. I'm gonna actually go against the grain and say that the mochi was my favorite. Okay. Okay. Whoa, you know what? They, they actually have instructions for you to warm them up on a plate. Ah! It's hot. <laughs> Those are pretty good. Let me go. I'll give it 4.5. Yeah, I'll give it 4.5. We got matcha popcorn, matcha sweet corn puffs, and matcha milk. Stars. Puff stars. Yeah. This is perfectly covered. I see caramel. I see matcha in there. I taste almost no matcha, guys. I'd rather just eat regular popcorn with a matcha drink on the side. Honestly? Trash. Yeah. Tohato. Caramel matcha corn. I, I always thought these did have a really weird, like, poopy kind of like... Shape. It kind of solid to me. Not cool. Not really into these either. The texture I like because it's very crispy and crumbly and it kind of melts in your mouth. I give that a 4.5 out of 5. I'm gonna give it a 2. Before we even try this, this smells of matcha. All right. Whoa. You guys are not ready for that texture. This is good. That's a matcha snack. Most unique snack we've tried so far. I don't know, man. It's good. This is the best one. Moving on to the matcha candies. Woo! Did your mom also give you a Hello Kitty lunchbox growing up? Uh, Andrew Puchow is uh, almost like a Haichu competitor. I don't think Haichu is coming through looking like this. I do want to note that this is Uji Matcha. Puchow. How do you bite this? Wow. Oh. oh my god, you know what? Uji Matcha is specifically grown in Kyoto. If you are into matcha for the right reasons, I think you're going to like that one. Those were like on opposite ends. The Hello Kitty was like faking the funk. Oh. Hey, yo, Pooch Out was about it. Okay. Uh, Melty blend. blend. Whoa. This is like what Kit Kat aspires to be. That wasn't an Uji. No. You would tell the difference between the matcha easily. That was pretty good. That was very decadent. All right, next up, we got the uh, matcha dinosaur egg from which brand? Nico. Pretty unique looking. This one wins. <laughs> wow. I like it because. The almond gives it a little break from that like sweet matcha exterior. It gives a little saltiness. What's your take? Top product here, out of the candies. You know where it's at. I'm gonna give it actually to the melty blend. I'm giving it to the melty blend. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is a plot twist. This is made in China. Oh! That's why I like it. <laughs> Whoa. What? This looks hilarious. <laughs> Yo, it smells really nice. Bing, bing. bing. Holy sh <laughs> I'll pass. Yo, what <laughs> is going on here? It doesn't even taste like matcha. Guys, here we have this uh, Lusk with matcha cream. All right, let's try it. Wow, it's kind of good. Yo, this tastes a lot like honeycomb. Yo, this is good. Okay, I I'm down to give this the spot, man. This is the winning one. I think for the American market, it's a little bit too weird looking. Also, here, what is it, Trito Tritophobia? Trifophobia. You guys, we are down to the one that you can get at the store. Oh man, these are messed up. Just like my dating life. All right, guys, matcha pocky. I mean, that was definitely better than the Bing Bing, but you know what I learned, guys? If it ain't Uji, it don't move me. Oh. oh. I can't go against the Poo Chow Uji matcha. Okay, game. I think we can all agree this is one of the strongest snacks here. I did also like this Glico yeah. smell. I really liked this corn. This was the most unique to me because I love the matcha cream. The one that I think has a chance if they redid the packaging is this one. It wasn't too different from a Chips Ahoy. No, it yeah. wasn't. Yeah. I, I really like this Manaka. I do think that Azuki, what if they were to be swapped with a chocolate sauce? I just don't know if people are ever, they're like, what kind of beans? Like, we are wrapping up our thoughts on part one, no, but we had to, it wouldn't be only fair that we uh, end on Yakimo, my favorite we have Japanese to. snack. Yakimo. Mm. Japanese, I will say, maybe do the simple stuff, maybe the best. All right, you guys, that does it for part one at Marukai Market. Wow. You guys, we came to a revelation that every single winner was Uji matcha instead of regular matcha. The ginger pork roll and the Tarasi bowl are the winners of the hot and cold section. Here, this is the winner of the drink section, and here we have the top four winners of the matcha section. All right, so in the comments down below, please let us know what your favorite matcha snack is that you've ever had. The best answer is gonna get a $25 Amazon gift card. Man, Mirakai Market had almost everything, but we got day two coming up. 
another day. I cannot do any more today. I'm done. Yo, huge shout out to Ryan for joining us today. You. you guys, thank you so much for watching that takeout episode of Fun Bros Food. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.